Hi guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. Today I've got a few clips to show you. I'm going to show you me in a minute I'm um, doing my pens and javelin and uh, my Aaron Pilot. We're going to be doing in the buckets, in the greenhouse here. We do them every year this way. I'll show you me doing them. Um, I'll show you me doing a few of them. I'll show you them all set up. However, there was a lot of faffing about what we had to do to get to these this stage. Um, I had to clean the, the side of the greenhouse, which wasn't um, easy. Um, I had to wash the buckets. In fact, um, I've, I, I even had to do um, take potatoes out of the buckets and um, the, the soil that was in the buckets I spread across a, a plot. You're going to see me spreading the, the, the compost across the plot. Um, I'm going to show you me um, lifting some spuds out of the buckets, give you an idea of the size of the spuds. I'll show you the spuds at the end of it and um, I'm going to calculate, estimate how many pounds of spuds we got. I haven't got my scales here today so I can't can't do it, I can't find them. However when we do I'll, I'll, I'll weigh them because they're still in the, the buckets, I've not moved them since uh, I picked some spuds so I'm giving the game away here. Aren't I? Let's run the clip and show you what we were doing. We'll start off with um, wanting the 10 buckets to go in the greenhouse. So I'm going to show you the buckets and then we'll get stuck into them. Well guys, you join me down here with these buckets. I'm just going to empty them all onto this bed here. There's, uh, like I said, there's no, no potatoes in most of them. There's one or two um, buckets got a few potatoes in. I'm not going to weigh them. I'm just going to tip them out and see what we've got. If we get any potatoes, I'll show you at the end of the video. But uh, the object of this is just to, to spread the get rid of this compost and clean these buckets up so that's what I'm doing so I'll be right back yeah, a few extra spuds there some very nice spuds as well I'm just back using some of this soil to back fill the holes that I've actually sunk these buckets into. So, bloody hell. Spuds in here are absolutely unbelievable. bucket that keeps on giving. There must be five pound of spuds in there already. Just picking all the small spuds out. I think it would have been better with the the wheelbarrow. That one's got a bit of scab on it. All the worms there, guys. And I've still got two to do. These are the Desiree. There must be 20 odd pound there, and we've still got two buckets to do. Down here. We got about 20 odd pound of um, Maris Pier, and I say I got two more buckets. What I'm doing, emptying all the compost into this bed. I'm going to clean these buckets because these are going to be the buckets I'm going to be using to do my first earlies. Yeah, I've got a stack of others there, but I need to to get this bed sorted. So let's see what are in these buckets here.
Thank you, Will. Sorry about the noise, guys. That's my neighbours working away. Desiree. Been in the ground for about 11 months. <laughs> Perfect. Well, as you can see, got half a bucket of uh, Mary's pier there, and we've got a full bucket of uh, Desiree. And there was five buckets, I think, in total, which I never emptied. So, probably got 45 litres of spuds there, about 50 odd pounds of spuds in total. I've not got my scales with me, so I can't weigh them. It's about 20 pounds there. There's about £30 there, and these were the ones which uh, didn't make the cut. So what I'm going to do now is spread this over the bed, and uh, I'm going to clean the spuds, the, the buckets up, these um, buckets. And uh, then I'm going to, these will be going into the front greenhouse shortly to start my me, um, me first earlies off. This compost is just going to get spread across here. I will do that in a moment or two. Uh, them buckets there, well, I just they got me uh, blueberries in here. I've not decided what the hell I'm going to do with them yet. When I do, um, I'll be showing them you, uh, show you what I'm doing. Obviously, I've got to put more compost in there. Bloody hell, dirtied my knees. Guys, there you go, that's all the compost spread across the, the bed. I'll probably put my onions in this bed. Um, that's what I used to rake it. Right, so look at this bud. These are the ones that are going in the compost bin. They're absolutely all manky. However, about £30 of uh, Desiree there and uh, about £20 of um, Mary's Pear there. And the pretty good spuds, them. 
bet they must weigh about a pound and a half, some of them spuds in there. But yeah. Now that's uh, that's a result, considering I didn't know I had any spuds left. Um, it turns out I had a total of five buckets, so you'd probably give them about ten pound, ten pound a bucket. That's what I had out of them, which is about right. There might be a few more in that one, but like I say, I haven't got my scale, so I can't be bothered counting them. Uh, we'll give them a clean. I'll leave them in the, the greenhouse for now to dry off. Well, when I say dry off, I really need washing, don't I? I mean, look at them, they're black as the obs of hell. But then again, they've been sunk in the ground here about four inches in the bucket, so the water table's we're just touching it and soaking it up. But as you can see, this bed's ready to go. Get the onions in here shortly. Right, anyway. I'm going to throw them into the compost bin, we'll put these in the greenhouse, middle front greenhouse and we'll get them cleaned sometime in the week. Well guys, I'm going to um, be cleaning them 10 buckets there. Uh, the first of me, uh, my first earlies I'm going to be putting in them buckets. And uh, as you see they're very dirty, inside and out. Uh, I'm going to have a quick cup of coffee then I'm going to clean them and uh, we'll let them dry out outside here. It's a lovely day today. Uh, clear sky, sorry about the sun there, it's a bobby dazzler all the way around, um, it was uh, it was cold last night, it was, uh, the water was frozen as I come on this morning, um, it, 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 it might feel about 20 degrees here today but I can guarantee you it's, um, we, well it, it said it's about 3-4 degrees, little, uh, two little uh, cold tits there on the feeders. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's only it's only the temperature is just above um, about three to five, but in the sunshine it feels like 20 degrees. Anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these over to the um, and get them washed, and then we'll get them back here and dry them out, and then we'll get them set up into the front greenhouse. That's where they're going. Well, guys, it's, it's the the eighth today, I think. Sunday and uh, we've just um, been washing these buckets out. I just used some a mild um, dose of uh, Jay's fluid and uh, we scrubbed inside and out and then um, I've rinsed them out fully and we just let them dry here on the, the table in this chair and then uh, we'll start thinking about putting them in the, the, the front greenhouse. However I've still got to to clean the front greenhouse and that's the next job. But um, that's all I'm doing today. We take little steps and uh, we get the jobs done basically. There's no point in rushing. Um, you know, a good cake takes a lot of uh, a lot of making, and uh, if we want some decent spuds, we've got to make sure everything's right. So anyway, they're drying away nicely. Next job: clean the greenhouse and clear where all the buckets are going to go for the time being. So I'm going to pour myself a nice cup of coffee now. Well folks, it's been such a lovely day today. We managed to clean the panels on this side. And that's where the buckets are. All these have all been sterilised by the way. Compost is waiting. Blood, fish and bones in the shed. And uh, we'll be doing this first, starting this first early very soon. But as you can see, all the buckets completely clean and uh, well we've still got this side to clean yet with Jay's fluid but that's neither near or there the part what I need to work on was here and we've done it we were very careful where the grapevine is and uh, the rest of it, it well it needs cleaning on the outside as well but the inside is uh, spotless and uh, the buckets are waiting to go for the first earlies to go in them and as I say there's the compost folks. Right, so I think I deserve a cup of coffee after all that. I'll show you me doing these real soon. But we needed to get them sorted. And then we, we've got so much to do. We've got, we've, we've took more on than um, I needed to take on. So while I'm doing all my planting, I'm also 
doing some building as well which will, will come apparent very soon well guys we've uh, got some of this clover multi-purpose compost set up this is uh, some calcified seaweed I thought I'd give that a go and this is blood fish and bone so I say I've got me my pot that I'm going to use and what I do is put about the same amount in each now what you can't see is my camera is actually stuck in um, three of the buckets just behind That's what I'll do is in a moment. I'll pan the camera down so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll pan the camera down you can see the legs of the um, tripod are actually in there but I'm going to have to remove them. However, um, for, for the, the all intents and purposes, uh, Not putting as much as this uh, calcified seaweed in, but I am putting some in. Right now, the trick is now to mix it all up, get it all mixed in, right down to the bottom of the bucket. I know it's a bit dusty, guys. The compost was very dry. However, I did add some some compost there, which was uh, was damp. Right. So these are the potatoes I'm going to be doing. Uh, you can probably see a few of them have started to chit, and what I'm doing, I'm just going to take off some of the chits and just leave a few on the top. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put four in each. So we're going to be doing them like this. Get another four. I'm putting the, the big one in. So this is basically how I'm going to do them, however, I'm going to set two down to the bottom and I'm going to set two just underneath the surface here and I'm going to top them up again with some more compost. So it's digging down. Right to the bottom. I want the potatoes to grow all the way up the up the bucket, some at the bottom, some at the top. Right, and before I do anything else, I'm gonna water. Put some water in here. What I'll do now is add some more compost. Over the top of them. If the temperature drops down, what we'll do is put fleece over the top of them as well. When they start to come up, I'll finish topping them up, up to the top of the bucket. So basically, that's how I do my spuds. Now I've got another eight to do. So I'm going to crack on. We'll put a label in as well when they're done. But as you see just down here, 
these all need mixing up and I need to take the camera out of the uh, out of the bucket so I can get stuck in so with that I'll be right back after I've done the Harren Pilot and um, the Penton Javelin okie dokie well guys just giving these buckets another I've just already given one watering but the compost is very dry so I thought let's give them another so we've got two of the first earlies done and um, we've got Penton Javelin and Aaron Pilot all done all watered. The only thing I've got to do is stick the labels in just so we know which is which. Um, obviously we've got a date on them. It's the 10th of today, 10th of March and I don't have actually done one through many there. But, uh, yeah, we've got them all done. Swing the camera up. So we've got the 10 buckets that I've, I've, I've wanted to do. I've got them set up in the greenhouse now. This is something I have to do every year. It's, uh, it's the one, probably one of the first things I like to get done. That way, once they start to get to the top of the buckets, we can put them outside later on. But uh, this year, not not much of a problem in this greenhouse because, as you know, we've got uh, we've got the other greenhouse. But they will be coming out, and uh, well, at the moment, I'm quite happy to to have got everything organised in the front here. Uh, we've still got all the chilies and everything else to do. I uh, will be doing another 10 in the other greenhouse a bit later on in the week, in the, in the month. Uh, but um, we've got so many other different things to do. Um, it's just I'm finding the time to do it. But the first first lot of the Penton Javelin and the, the Aaron Pilot. And like I say, it's the 10th of March today. I don't know when this video is going to go up. Probably at the end of the week. Um, cause we, like I said, we've got lots and lots of different things, projects and stuff what's going on and it's just having all the time to, to put it all together so I can show you what we've been doing. Anyway, it was hard work but it was enjoyable. So let's move on. In fact what I'm going to do now is put some more water into this uh, watering can, some fresh water from the tap because um, we're going to be doing a lot more um, seed sowing and what have you and I need water in the greenhouse that I can use so I won't be doing any more sowing for a couple of days until all the chlorine and what have you has um, evaporated out of the, the water so anyway here we go in fact I can start putting trays on top of these for the time being so I've got a bit more more, more room to, to put more seed sowings and what have you yeah all, all go it's all go be right back folks so as you saw there um, there's at least 50 pound in the two two buckets uh, all together there are about 20 pound of um, Mary's Pier and at least thirty pound of um, Desiree. I under I underestimate under calculated them. There's probably a bit more. I have got me. I get my scales. And I will weigh them. I've just got some SEM sacks, so I'm gonna throw them in there. What really annoys me about them spuds is two days earlier I went and bought three three bags of uh, Maris Piper. Um, you know, so I got some for cooking, and I uh, didn't realise I had all them potatoes there. So that was a. Uh, but they'll, they'll keep, they'll keep, in, they'll keep for, an, for God knows how long and they've basically been sat in them buckets since they were fully grown for about six months. So you don't have to um, 
tip your buckets out straight away you can just let them sit there in the buckets they do perfectly well there's nothing you know as you saw we've we've we cleaned all the buckets here and sterilized them I used a tiny bit of jace fluid just to sterilize and wash them all out and you just see me sowing my potatoes into the clover multi-purpose we use blood fish and bone and we use them um, some of that calcified seaweed I would have normally put some grow more in but we made a mistake last year and we used calcified seaweed and it did really well so it did better than the the um, potato grow more for some reason so I've gone along the same track again with these 10 buckets at least so they're all in here they're all filled halfway up to the top we've put four book four potatoes in each bucket and um, we only need small potatoes and um, once they start to come up we'll top the bucket so that's what I've been doing I've even got uh, I brought me my um, me gutters and I'll be showing you me doing my peas and gutters very shortly however um, uh, we've, we've been busy doing all sorts of other things as you're gonna see in a bit um, quick update on the chickens I um, phoned um, Cheshire Fishing's chickens up uh, again um, on Tuesday I think it was the 10th and this is what he told me. Hey guys, well, it's been nearly a week since I phoned um, Cheshire Chickens. And I was looking on his website last night and it's not looking good. Um, it's going to be more like Saturday, I think. I'm going to be getting these chickens this week. However, I'm going to phone him up now. And uh, I'm going to see if he has actually got the chickens ready. And we can go and pick them up tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Anyway, we wait with bated breath. So here it goes, let's put it on loudspeaker, see what he's got to say. Hello, Cheshire Chicken. Hello, I phoned you up um, last week uh, about, I think it was Tuesday I phoned you up. Um, it was about um, whether you had any chickens um, and you told me to ring you about this time, um, this week, um, to see whether you got the chickens in so I could come down and uh, pick up 12 of them. I don't know if you remember the conversation. Right, okay. How, how many are you looking for, was it? Twelve. I'm actually about 200 short, but I have had this conversation with an awful lot of people. Um, right, it's, um, I have got a new block ready on Friday uh, to collect it on Saturday. Right. Um, if, but just to be on, we vaccinate them on Friday. Just to be on the safe side, though, ring before you set off. I don't want you to sort of come out and think, you know, something's gone wrong, but we've not managed it. Yeah, all right then. Um, you just definitely, like, definitely keep us twelve. Oh, um, like I said, <laughs> I've been after for about a month and a half now. Um, uh, okay, it's Mark, Mark Davison. Mark Davison, D A V I S O N. Have you got me? Have you got me number there? Um, you could. Uh, well, the one, the, the one you've wrong on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got that. Yeah. Well, it's it, like Mark I say. Davison. Well, like, what I'll do is I'll, I'll ring it up. I'll ring it up um, Friday. Friday. Um, Mid evening. evening, that's great, yeah, see what, in, and then yeah, we'll see not, what... Not too late, but yeah, so you know, if you give us a ring about, uh, you know, About uh, five, six-ish, is that all right? Five, six-ish, yeah, that'd be great, yeah. All right then. Okay, well, I'll speak to you then. Okay, have You, you right, have a okay. good day. Bye-bye now. All right, bye. Well, you've heard that. That, that, that's, that's the reason why they ain't ready, because they've not been, he's not got them in, and they've not been vaccinated. And, um, well... He's only doing what's uh, what he asked to do, and there's a lot of people been after him, and he's let him. Let him have you, well, he just heard the conversation. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully now um, he's got me written down there in the book. I've got 12 chickens, and I'll probably get them on Saturday. It, it might be Sunday or Monday. Problem I've got, I've, I've got me I'm taking my daughter, and I keep telling my daughter, um, you know, it's going to be Wednesday, this Wednesday, last Wednesday. She's not going to be happy, so. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell her, uh, give her a ring in a bit, and give her more bad news. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So um, he's got getting the chickens in on the Friday. They've got to be vaccinated. That means they just put the, the vaccination stuff in the food. They eat the food. They get vaccinated. Da da. And then I've just got to go pick them up. Um, as you hear there, I could pick them up today but it's Sunday tomorrow that I'm gonna go and get him so when I do get him I'll put a little video up 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any filming down at um, Cheshire Farms because he doesn't like the cameras and it's a, uh, you know, they, they say it's a bio, you know, um, what do you call it? Um, I can't go into the area where the chickens are because of biohazards and what have you, bringing germs into the into the farm, which is fair enough. And he'll, he'll sort me some good chickens out and um, like I say, I'm going to go with my daughter tomorrow. Hopefully we'll find the place. It's a, it's, it's a bit of a nightmare to find it, but um, I think we'll do okay. It, it, it won't be my brother that'll be coming with me tomorrow, so we won't end up at Barclays Bank, I hope. If we end up there again, oh God, the navigator's had it. <laughs> so, yeah, I keep you posted on the chickens um, as soon as I get them. Um, no more, I can't do no more, you know, the guys, you know, I can't do nothing until he gets the chickens and as you hear there, he's struggling to, um, to, to, to get the supplies and what have you. Anyway, um, we get them tomorrow. Uh, the next clip I'm going to show you is um, the, new, the new greenhouse. Um, now, I had to get it down off the plot. The the old owner gave me all the, all the racking inside it. I only kept um, one bench, and he said all the paving stones, take all everything. It's all yours, obviously, because he can't take it. He just wanted to get rid of it. He can't leave it on the plot. That's the rules. So you also see the shed disappeared as well in the video. <laughs> like I say, it doesn't take as long to to move them, um, but you see me moving a few of the paving stones I, I had little snippets little clips I couldn't show you me doing um, anything crazy because it was all about time and uh, you know you do you, you know when you try to do a video it takes forever so there's a little snippet to show you what we were doing and um, you'll see the glass suddenly disappear I'm not going to tell you if I smashed any until until we get to the the shed and I'll show you them in the shed and what have you and um, we got um, Supergirl down to give me an hand um, in the video. You'll, you'll understand when, when I run the clip. So I'm going to run the clip now and I'm going to show you um, what we've been doing with the so greenhouse. Guys, this is my new greenhouse. 10 foot by 6 foot greenhouse. It's absolutely mint. Not a broken panel in, in everything. The door works, the door's on it. It's just got a lock on it at the moment, so I can't go in. Uh, when I get the when I get the key, uh, we can start taking it apart. There's a few pots and trays in there. If they want them, they can take them. I don't need them. But all I'm interested in is is this greenhouse. And as you can see, there's not a single panel that is broken. It's perfect. And uh, well, for for forty quid. You can't knock it, you really can't, absolute belter. So there you go, that's the greenhouse I just bought for 40 quid. Let me know what you think. So here we are in the greenhouse and uh, well, obviously that window shouldn't be there. And that window, or that one shouldn't be there, it should be one up here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take this bracket off eventually and I move it to here. <laughs> so we got one, I mean, where it is there, it's the, not serving no purpose at all, where it's, they both are together. But you want it to circulate, so we'll put one here. Anyway, this is the inside of the greenhouse. A bit overgrown. All these um, frames with all the, the cages on them, there was about six of them in here. Anyway, I've kept the table, the, the metal table. And I said to everybody, anyone who wants anything in the greenhouse, come and help yourself. And everybody was in here and they've cleared it out. So all I've got to do now is move the bricks from around the frame. But before I do that, I'm going to take all the glass out. So that's a, that's the next job to do. I've had Aaron, Aaron over there. He's been helping me um, with the, the paving stones and I've got them here. So I'm just... Just having a break and just got a couple there just take a couple at a time uh you know it's not going to kill myself i've got probably three more trips to do and then that's it they're all done the paving stones are out 
and then sometime in the week I can start taking the glass out. I've had volunteers to say they'd help me with the glass, but you know, I don't want to take, cut the bloody hands off, so I'll do it myself. I take them over, take them out. I just got to clear a, a space of me, me green at my shed actually, where I'm going to put me in my back shed for now. And then we'll get a few mates and we'll put this uh, greenhouse on my brother's plot. And then we can give this plot out. The, the shed will be gone tomorrow probably. Um, that's Pete's. Uh, Ray and Carol, they come down uh, earlier and uh, they, they give me the key back and everything. So now anything, all this wood here. Anyone who wants it can have it, and this, everyone's been taking taking wood, and this will all be gone tomorrow, I'm sure. Oh, it'll be gone Monday when Bernard knows about it. Could I be burning it all? <laughs> this is perfect firewood for him, but um, yeah, uh, there's, there's a lot of people just been collecting, taking bits of it. I think Karen still needs some of that, so oh, it's, it's there anyway. But the glass greenhouse, well, we're near, we'll, we'll be, we've got the door open, so. Everything's been cleared out, fortunately for me, and uh, we can get started as soon as possible, clear, taking the glass out, that should be fun. Well guys, we've been at this for over an hour, and I've got all the glass out now. There's the last panels, and um, there's a jar there full of clips. I'm going to get these over to the greenhouse, and I'm not going to stay out until I get over to where I'm, where I'm going to be putting them panes of glass. And then I'll, I'll come back on the update, so uh, yeah. That's the all the panels, the glass out of the greenhouse. There's a jar of clips. We'll be right back. Well, guys, there you go. We managed to get every single pane of glass into the greenhouse without breaking it. I put the door in here and I put the two windows. So all what's left over there now is the frame. So in the next couple of days, I'll bring the the frame over, and um, I'm going to put it. Well, I'll show you where I'm going to put it. Let's just shut this door. Yeah, that's locked. Where I'm going to put it, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk it up here, walk it across Dave and Bev's plot. Uh, I asked him if it was alright to walk it over, said so not a problem. So, where I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the strawberry bed. It's going to be leaning onto the path here. So it's going to be there for the time being. I'll put some scaffolding boards across here. And then the next job, well actually, it won't be here. It'll be at home. I need to cut the scaffolding boards that I've got at home to 10 foot. Uh, I need four at 10 foot and three at six foot, or just under 10 foot actually. And uh, then what I do, bring them here, screw them all together. We take that coal frame and everything what's in the coal frame, got to move it. Obviously the tape bench is going to have to go here. Um, the wheelbarrow and the the roller, well the roller might be a still stay there. Because I will lose the path here. So the we're going to have a, a path in between the two greenhouses so I can clean them and get into and, and sort them out. But the... The actual greenhouse will sit come along them boards there so i've got to dig down i've got to dig it all out level it out square it up then we sit the frame in once the frame's all level then i can drag the greenhouse over screw it all down clean all the glass put the glass in and uh, we're good to go so that's that's what i've got to do anyway with that i'm gonna have a cup of coffee over there I'll take you up and show you the the, the the actual greenhouse where it is now and what it looks like. It looks like a skeleton, obviously. But um, yeah, that's where the greenhouse is going. Well, guys, all the glass is out of it. I, I cleaned all of the garbage, what was all the gunk, what had grown in, in the edges. Well, most of it anyway, not all of it. However, as you can see, if you lift it here, look down here. There you go, that's how, I mean, really, two of us could carry this and all we've got to do walk it up there through um that's uh pete going up there and uh sloan's over at sloan's over half they've just removed the shed from there <laughs> we don't hang around here uh within 24 hours of getting the key we've actually give the plot out so this plot's gone now so this is for the next person 
So I want to get this off here as soon as possible. So this is tomorrow morning. This will be gone and it will sit in um, on my strawberry bed. Yep, you've heard it. That's where it's going on my strawberry bed for the time being. And uh, then I'm going to um, build the framework and then we'll sit it on it and it'll look absolutely awesome. That, that's the plan anyway. But uh, yeah, it took me about an hour to get all the glass out of it. I didn't break a single panel, as you just saw there. It's all in the um, in the shed. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I could have took it over today, but I, I'm whacked out. I mean, it was emotional yesterday I, with all the bloody paving stones. So um, I've got bloody pain in my chest from that. But all them bricks went all the way around the perimeter. I've just stuck them there, and I said to um, so Pete said, if you want them, take them. I don't need them. I've got a, I've got more than that on my plot. But uh, yeah, it's a, a new addition to the, the allotment. We're going to have tomatoes both sides. It'll look absolutely awesome when it's done. So anyway, with that, I'm off. Got my bag, my girly bag there. We'll be back tomorrow and I'll show you where we're going to sit it for the time well, being. Guys, as you can see, this is where the greenhouse is going to be sitting for the next few weeks until I've sorted that area out there. So what we'll do, walk straight down, well it'll be one man walking down the path there and then it's just bringing it over and settling it on these boards here. I've got that one there to protect to protect the bed. I'll probably put a couple of bricks underneath here just to give it more support and sit the greenhouse. The greenhouse is not that, that heavy. Uh, I would say it's hundred pounds soaking wet. It just looks really heavy because of the, the way it is. But when you break everything down, you put it into a small box. That's what gets dropped off at your house and uh, oh I've seen my mother pick a box up with a, with a six with a six foot eight sorry eight foot greenhouse in and managed it on her own. So I think four, four burly men should have no problem at all. Anyway, let's show you this greenhouse. Now it's all been stripped down of uh, the doors, the windows, the glass, everything. And it's uh, just waiting to be to be picked up. What I will do, make it easier on them. I'll lift them, I'll lift the greenhouse up and put them onto some to some um, bricks so they can get their hands underneath them. So they've got no excuses; they can't lift it. And uh, <laughs> I'll cover for all contingencies. But this is where it's going anyway. It's going right there. Well, guys, who said I needed? three of my mates, four of my mates to lift this up. All it took was me and a young lady. She got that end and I got this end and we walked it up the road here, along here, down the path and sat it on there. There's no weight to it but you know at the end of the day <laughs> uh, it needed move, moving and um, well as you can see it's imperfect it is no nothing hanging off or broke or so yeah i've got the greenhouse here now so the next stage is to to cut the base for it this this thing here this here will not be on it now i don't know it's it just sort of attaches to it so i'll be taking this off the base and then sitting this on top of the on top of the scaffolding boards when I've done it but uh, yeah we've uh, yeah, it only took like I say we was, we were here not even two minutes I just try to convince her not to do it. I said oh it's gonna be too awkward this she says come on let's have a go come on come on I said oh so I don't know so it's gonna be hard I was wrong. <laughs> it wasn't hard at all. It was quite easy. <laughs> I was thinking it might be, you know, a bit, bit too heavy for her, but no, she lifted it, and uh, here it is. So big thanks to Debs. In fact, 
Here's a young lady now. <laughs> this girl is a lot stronger than you think. She just had that end there, and I had the other. And we just walked it up the plot. How cool is that? In this wind. Shut the door, Debs. Well, there you go it's all I feel a lot comfortable now it's there so that means I've got to actually do some of it I've actually got to to do the bed there put the um take that I don't want that here I could think of lots of places you look really good on your plot no well, I can't convince her to take that I suppose we'll dump it on our kids plot so there we go it's here uh, it's me waiting for three more strong men and we've got this little darling here you only need one woman for every three men there you go you heard it here first guys well that's absolutely awesome so there you go she's only a little tiny thing as well i won't mess with her though yeah she was the only person on the entire allotment at the time when it went and uh, like i said i was waiting for some of my mates to turn up Oh well, so now I've got no excuse, I need to, to start thinking of what we're doing here. And this is, when we come to move it, we just back it off here, walk it over here, and drop it down there. So that chair will be going along here, so there's going to be two chairs here. And uh, that... This coal frame won't be here no more. Obviously we cart the wheel batter off. Just look at this rain, guys. Look at this rain, what we've had in here. This, I was using this yesterday. It was empty, look at it now. It's absolutely full to the top with water. Unbelievable. That's how much rain's come down since last night. So as you see, the greenhouse is now on the plot and it's on them chocks on my strawberry bed and that's as far as we've got um, and we wouldn't have got that far if it wasn't for my friend Debs um, like I say she's uh, she's a lot stronger than she, she looks she's only dead signing dainty but um, Salone um, I was talking to a friend of mine and I said she picked it up on, on her own she said oh Ask us, does she want to join our rugby team? <laughs> so, yeah, that's another um, plot holder on her. I think she's, well, she only got a couple of months ago. She'll be having a little baby. Yeah, do you want to ask her, does she want to join our rugby team? Good God, that's... But, uh, yeah, so we've got the, the greenhouse on the plot and um, it won't be long before I start getting into it. I reckon by the end of April um, we'll get the greenhouse up, or the middle of April at least. No, I reckon it's going to take, since it's there now, we've got to build the base and everything, it'll probably take four weeks. But if I work really hard, I might be able to get it done in less than four days. It all depends. <laughs> <laughs> on whether I can be bothered. I have to remove the um, the coal frame, I have to remove um, all the things in the coal frame, I have to remove a ton of soil away, um, I have to, like I say, the coal frame's got to go, um, and then I've got to build the base, paving stones, then it's to mount the greenhouse, there's a whole can of other worms I've, I've got to do as well, I've got to take the greenhouse off the original stand, and I've got to put it on the new stand, and that's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to ask, go out now, ask people: Is anyone interested in? Um, do they want a ten foot by six foot base to a greenhouse? They can have it for absolutely that much money. I just want rid of it. And um, yeah, I will keep you posted on the greenhouse. Uh, it's it's on the plot now. It's on the strawberry bed, and I won't want to see. I won't be looking at that for the next um, four weeks. I can tell you, but. I give myself a uh, four weeks to to get to get the greenhouse sorted. So um, until next time, like I said, I'll get the get the chickens on tomorrow. Hopefully, and when I do, I'll post a little video and show them you. 
I'll show you the girls, the new girls. And hopefully they all have little bracelets on the feet. I'll tell you more about that when we get them. So, with that, thanks for watching. And I'll see you real soon. So, from Allotment Diggers, goodbye for now.